Ooh, he f***ing ran right after that. Look, look, look. I got him. I got him, Hunter. What's going on, guys? Bassin and Up Moffat here coming at you with a new video for this week. In this week's video, uh, me and my dad head out to Lake Marburg to do a little bass fishing. Going to break this video down a little bit more for you. Within this one, I'm going to talk to you about fishing within the moon phase and kind of what that does to the fish because we were fishing on a full moon and also we were fishing on a cold front so if the moon phase didn't make things interesting enough uh we also threw a nice cold front in there super foggy in the morning as you'll see within the beginning of the video there's fog all over the water because it was the first day of the cold front and nice cold snap compared to what we were used to for the last week or so before we went out here uh but either way guys make sure you hit that like and subscribe button um, to keep pushing my videos and keep uh, the video rolling through the algorithm. That helps me out and helps uh, get my video out to other people. But either way guys, hope you enjoy this one and keep watching. First off we start fishing shallow because on a full moon uh, generally that will bring the bait shallower in the fall like this. So we start out fishing pretty shallow. I start throwing the buzz bait seeing if I can get any big blow ups early in the morning and sadly that doesn't happen. Now we're changing up spots, start fishing around the riprap and the edges of the bridge and with the jigs just pulling them real slow along the bottom. Still trying to fish the shallower edges, trying to see if there's any bait fish pushed up in the edges of the uh, riprap here. Finally. First one of the day. Two pounder, something like that. Yeah, about a pound and a half, two pounder. Now I start throwing my rattle trap. There's a nice grass line along here. I'm just fishing the edge of this grass line, hoping to entice any reaction strikes out of these fish with the rattle trap. Just kind of ripping it. Anytime I feel any grass, I give it a nice rip, kind of pull it through. A lot of times you can get a good reaction strike doing that. Now here we're changing spots a little bit and I'm down tied on a jig and dad's flipping a little bitty finesse jig. This time of year we like to use little smaller jigs and a little smaller profile just because a lot of the bait's smaller this time of year and you want to match the hatch so get something that looks like um, anything that they're used to feeding on this time of year and you generally have a little better success right on top of that stump see him see him huh. a little one yeah musky i guess it is there's a little one stay back away from him i gotta go back here and get my thing unstuck so yeah I'm gonna see if we can catch him. Ooh, he f 
ran right after that. Look, look, look. I got him. I got him, Hunter. Pretty good size one actually. He wasn't little, he was like this. Yeah, I saw him. The hook pop out. Yeah. He's trying to get the in there. Son of a <laughs> We got up in the trolling motor. I didn't even, I was just throwing it over there to see what we do, and he and he was like, whoo! I just told him, do you? What? We need to get to get in the water. I don't know how much longer it'll last, so you guys can, uh... Oh, I'm just getting ready to break. Dude, I, re I reeled it out and stopped, and he just swallowed it. I don't know how you didn't get it. I don't either. I set the hook pretty hard. Dude, here. you have no crawls back here. Look, right there he is. He's not gonna fucking bite again. There's no way he's gonna bite again. That might be a different one. No, that's probably him. I don't think so, because that looks smaller. He was that one went there was pretty good size. That was probably like a 36 inch. He definitely 30. 30, 30 some incher. It was a tiger one. Now I finally get my jig tied up and on. Still targeting shallow since uh, the moon phase should push these bait fish up shallower and on the banks, which would also in return keep the bass up shallow. And so far it's seeming to work pretty decent. There are fish up shallow. We're seeing a little bit here and there, like that muskie. So that just goes to prove you. He was sitting in the shallows like that, waiting for bait coming by. Then we changed spots again, and I'm still flipping a jig. Now we're targeting some riprap and rocks around the edges of the dam. A lot of times the rocks will hold a little more heat this time of the year from the sun beating down on them. And the bass like that because they like a little bit warmer water this time of the year. There's one. This is a little tiny one. Better than nothing. <laughs> Definitely better than nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> little guy, guys. Let's let him go. Well guys, that's going to conclude this one for you. Hope you found some of these tips helpful and can uh, adapt them on the water one day for yourself and catch some fish. Um, even though there were some interesting conditions this day, we still ended up catching a few and that's always better than going home skunked. But either way guys, make sure you keep hitting that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you guys.